$57,000 on the line. Kyle Douglas the won two in a row, 2020, 20, 2021. 20, He's going for his third. Chris Schaaf. This is it right here. Good luck, guys. Trying to get his first. But Schaaf has been under the pressure of these lights before. Mostly world archery. Yeah. Let's start us off. That's Ten. There's no question. No Mike. question about that one, no. <laughs> Greg White sitting alongside Mike. Sitting alongside Mike Schlusser here in the Vegas shoot 2023. Ten. First arrows are fired for each archer going for the number one spot. One bobble. That could be. Chris Nine, dropped it. That's what I'm talking about. Now it's in Kyle Douglas's hands. The door is completely open for him to capture his third. Ooh, and that one looks high too. I think they're both nines. Okay. So for Chris Schaff, he's got to batten down the hatches here. Yeah, that's good. So it looks like from our vantage point, it could come down to this for Kyle Douglas. A 10 here to continue on. A nine, and Chris Schaff is Vegas champion. It's and he got it. Wow. Mike Schlusser, can you feel the tension in this room right now? I'm getting nervous myself just watching this. It is pretty incredible. All right, let's get these arrows call, arrow calls from Bruce Call. Douglas, 29. And Schaff, 29. We we'll move on, 29's a piece. Seven arrows ago, it started off with 26, and we're down to our final two. And there's Chris Schaff. Mike Schlusser, you've been there. Yeah, we all have been there. You know, when you release a shot that it doesn't hit, and the only thing you can think about is like how to get better in the next one, get over it, and just start over the process again. Both these archers know how to win, and they know how to win at a high level. The difference is, is that Kyle Douglas has done it a couple times here in the Preferred Arena, trying to three-peat. Chris Schaff, trying to close the deal in the biggest tournament of his career. Boys, we got one minute of wait here as the TV gets fixed. All right, so just a quick reset. And a little grin from Chris Schaff, who's here with some family members, including his youngest of three. Of course, when Chris isn't competing in archery, he's normally at a hill climb or a dirt track with his, his oldest son, his oldest kid, his son, Trexton, trying to build a career on the motorcycle side of things. As for Kyle Douglas, we know that uh, He's one of the most technical, proficient archers out there. Owning a bow shop and really uh, got into the nuts and bolts and of his bow once he put it in his All hands. Right guys, same thing. X counts as 10. Same thing. X counts line. as 10. Good luck. Schaff starts us off. Ten for Shaw. Ten. Sometimes Mike Schluser, you can just see on the release of Kyle Douglas that it's just going right to the middle. Ten. Yeah. 
This is it. If Khrushchev shoots a 10 year, he's going to be Vegas champion. $57,000 on the line. Yeah, and he got it. He's going back to hug Brady Ellison. Wait till this call. Through the binos, Mike Schlusser, what are you seeing? I'm pretty sure that guy was yeah. a so. And congratulations from Schaff. Yeah. And Kyle Douglas. Schaff anxious to get down to the yellow line and have a look. Bruce Cole side by side. Let's get right to it. Do we have a brand new Vegas champion? Or will this move on? I think the calls are pretty clear. Here's Bruce. Well, looks like Bruce isn't making the call to right now. Give a big round of applause to Kyle Douglas, second place in the Vegas shoot. And your new Vegas champion, right here, Chris Shaw. The crowd erupts as Chris Shaw. Coming off of a neem victory, made his way to the final stage at Lancaster just a week ago. And with his brand new bow in hand, we will be hearing from Chris Schaff in just a few moments. Vegas shoot champion.